One question we've heard time and time again is, how are my web stories performing? Well, fear not, we're here to help. Let's quickly dive into the world of stories and analytics. At a high level, a user's journey through a story consists of three phases, discovery, consumption, and post-click. So let's talk about what these three phases are and what kind of data you can collect during each of them. Discovery is all about the outlets where your stories might appear or surface. This might be Google Discover, search results, or even through experiences on your own website. The metrics that matter to you in this phase are impressions or the number of times your stories appear to a user, clicks or the number of times users click into your story, and finally, click-through rate or CTR, which is a percentage of impressions that resulted in a click. The second phase in the user journey, consumption, is when the user actually clicks through various pages within each story. One metric that you might want to track here is story starts or the number of times your stories have been read. Now you might be wondering, what's different between a story start and a story click? Well, a start only triggers if you're reasonably sure that a user not only clicked or tabbed on your story, but also got to the first page and had a chance to look at the content there. I've got it! Other metrics are story completions or the number of users that reach the last page of your story, average view time or how long users spent reading your stories, views by page of your story, and finally, average depth or on average, how far a user might tap into your story. The third and final phase of post-click is when a user clicks into the next story in your experience or alternatively through to your actual site. All right, now that we've aligned on terminology, let's review some tools to help visualize these metrics. If you find this content helpful, smash that subscribe button. Uh, smash that button? Do I really have to say that? By the way, I'm Shishir. If you're wondering where Paul went, no worries. He will still continue to make episodes for Storytime. I'll just also be helping out here and there. Now, back to the video. If you would like to view metrics in the discovery phase, specifically for Google surfaces, the Search Console is your tool of choice. However, to look at direct traffic to your stories, continue using your existing analytics solution. When you use the Search Console, you'll need to configure access for your domain. Once set up, you can use the Search Results or Discover tabs in the Performance block on the left. After clicking into either of those, you will need to add a new filter using the plus sign at the top and set the search or discovery appearance value to web story. We've included some links on how to do all that in the description. Now you will begin to see summary statistics for total clicks, impressions, and click-through rate. In addition, a graph will display daily totals for clicks and impressions. Further, the section at the bottom will contain click and impression data on a per story basis. But what can those numbers tell you? Well, for example, a high number of impressions but a low number of clicks on your story could mean that you need to work on your poster image and make it look more intriguing so that users click on your story. Quick side note, if you want to learn more about poster images, check out our interview with Forbes designer Alicia Halei Chan. There are also other tabs and views available, and we definitely recommend playing around with the Search Console as it contains insightful data. To track metrics in the consumption phase, you need to make sure your story is set up to collect analytics. While web stories support many different analytics providers, the one with the most supported events out of the box is Google Analytics. To configure your story with Google Analytics, you can use the settings feature of your favorite editor and simply set your Google Analytics ID in the respective field. You can do this in WordPress by clicking on settings, in Make Stories by going to General Settings and then Analytics, and in Newsroom AI by clicking on Dashboard and then Tags and Analytics. Once you have your data flowing into Google Analytics, you can visualize your story performance by using Google's Data Studio, a visualization tool that helps build interactive dashboards. One thing I have to mention is that there are a number of web story editors that provide analytics and story performance data from within the tool itself. So be sure to check out stories.google slash tools to select the right tool to build and measure your stories. On to the final phase, post-click. Most creators have some form of ad revenue on their site, on-site sales, or off-site referrals through affiliate links. If you fall into these buckets, you might like to know whether any of your revenue can be attributed back to web stories. You can do this by looking at the referral source like you would for your regular website. 
This is because web stories are just like regular web pages with their own URL. Well, that was a lot to cover in such a short video. And we've only just scratched the surface. Both the metrics and the interactions that can be tracked in web stories, as well as the tools to visualize those metrics, will continue to evolve. We'll be sure to cover that in another video in the future. Until next time.